Good morning, one and all. Commodities, U.S. dollar and yields traded range bound in the absence of a major market moving data and economic surprises in the previous week. Global risk appetite was limited uh, as economic growth concerns countered Chinese reopening optimism. The main event of the previous week was uh, the Bank of Japan uh, policy meet, which turned into a non-event. Uh, uh, it disappointed markets by not acting at all in its interest rate decision. I welcome uh, you all to another edition of a weekly commodity podcast with me, your host and guide, Ravindra Rao from Kotak Securities Commodity Research Desk. And as always, I'll guide you through events and trends in commodities as well as uh, global macros. Dollar has been the major driving force for commodities uh, that hit a fresh seven month low of 101.50, uh, that is the dollar index as a more economic data from the U.S. provided evidence of a slowdown in the world's biggest economy, boosting hopes of a slower pace of rate hikes and an eventual pause in uh, tightening. Dollar witnessed a brief recovery owing to status quo by Bank of Japan and safe haven buying spurred by growth woes. However, the greenback could not sustain gains as markets expect uh, the Bank of Japan to eventually change course. The Bank of Japan unexpectedly kept its yield curve tolerance band unchanged, defying market speculation that it may revise its ultra-loose monetary policy as it had shocked the global markets in its previous meeting by uh, widening its tolerance range for the yield on its 10-year government bond from 25 basis points to 50 basis points in December. On the economic data front, uh, U.S. retail sales fell 1.1% in December in its biggest drop since 2021, pulled down by decline in purchases of motor vehicles and a range of other goods. Retail sales declined for second consecutive month following a drop of 1% in November. U.S. PPI fell more than expected by 0.5% in December, most since April 2020, largely owing to decline in costs of energy products and food. PPI increased 6.2% year-on-year in December after climbing 7.3% in November, registering the lowest annual level since March 2021. Coming to commodity specifics, uh, Comex Gold uh, rose for the fifth week in a row to a fresh nine-month high of $1.1939 per troy ounce in the previous week amid a softer dollar, poor corporate earnings and heightened uh, layoffs raising concerns of a recession. The yellow metal has been witnessing a one-sided rally since early November after touching a 28-month low of $1.1618 per troy ounce. On signs signs the Federal Reserve was turning less hawkish, spurring decline in greenback and uh, U.S. Treasury yields. At the same time, MCX Gold futures rose to a record high of Rs. 56,850 per 10 gram in the previous week and has been in an uptrend for the last eight weeks. Comic Silver ended the week on a negative note with prices falling 1.8% to below $1.24 per troy ounce. Recent rally in silver prices were on back of a complete reopening in China, leading to higher industrial demand. However, the reopening theme is losing steam as economic data from US is pointing to, a, uh, to an economy moving towards a recession. Data from China showed that the economy grew by 3%, missing the official target of around 5.5% and marking the second slowest pace since 1976 amid the impact of Beijing's zero COVID strategy. Investment demand continued to decline with iShares Silver Trust ETF seeing further outflow of 214.6 tons in the previous week, while SPDR Gold Holdings saw marginal inflows of around 5 tons. Gold prices might see some uh, might witness some profit booking ahead of a slew of central bank meetings in early February with major focus on FOMC meeting. However, prospects of a looming slowdown in US, cooling inflation and labor market coupled with the uh, Fed pivot might continue to bolster uh, gold prices. In case of silver, uh, also the medium term prospects remain bullish amid China reopening and improving odds of financial support from Beijing. On the technical front, COMEX Gold uh, is sustaining above uh, the dollar nineteen twenty mark, and uh, uh, possibly it might move higher towards nineteen sixty seven, followed by uh, the psychological level of dollar two thousand. Uh, so any dip in uh, in in gold uh, in COMEX Gold might witness uh, buying. 
support now is at uh, dollar 1920 which will be the initial support in fact uh, a good buying zone and on the lower side uh, 18 1878 to 1870 would be the support a uh, strong support below which the uh, the the bullish momentum might uh, slightly fade away in case of uh, in case of comex silver uh, uh, we expect uh, prices to stay uh, in a consolidative mode until and unless it breaches the dollar 24.50 to dollar 25 zone on the higher side which is the trend line resistance if that happens we might see a sharp up move in uh, silver prices if not then the consolidation might continue with supports at dollar 23.50 followed by dollar 22.50 in case of uh, in case of energies uh, wti and brent crude uh, closed 2% higher uh, in the previous week posting a second consecutive weekly gain mainly supported by chinese demand optimism both opec and iea mentioned chinese demand recovery as the driving force behind oil consumption in 2023 iea that is international energy agency lifted its forecast for oil demand growth for 2023 by nearly 2 lakh barrels per day to 1.9 million barrels per day to average a record uh, 101.7 million barrels per day with nearly half the rise from china uh, while opec forecast uh, chinese demand to grow by 5 lakh uh, 10 uh, 5 lakh 10000 uh, barrels per day in 2023 as china lifted covid restrictions Oil rose despite US inventory figures this week showing crude stockpiles rose by 8.4 million barrels in the previous week in the week uh, to January 13th to about 448 million barrels the highest since June 2021 Chinese demand expectation as well as price cap on Russian oil which has been rippling through the global market might keep supporting uh, crude prices in the near term on the price front uh, that is on the technical uh, charts uh, on daily chart uh, crude uh, crude has formed a inverse hns pattern uh, it has already penetrated the neckline resistance on friday uh, but the confirmation will come only on a close above the break candle uh, high of 82 around 81.90 uh, dollar which uh, if we take a little buffer it would be around 82 dollars so a daily close above dollar 82 uh, would confirm the inverse hns pattern and uh, the prices might further move up uh with the initial objective uh close to dollar 85 per barrel coming to natural gas uh natural gas has continued its southwards move as mild weather continued to hamper demand the continuous fall in natural gas prices has brought the price to 2020 lows below the dollar 3.20 mmbtu mark mild winter temperatures are limiting heating demand whereas repairs on the freeport lng plant have freed 2 billion cubic feet of gas per day for the domestic market the energy information administration uh, that is the eia in its weekly survey on thursday said the inventories fell by 82 billion cubic feet last week leaving supply 1.2% above the 5 year average for the week on the price front uh, nymex natural gas has reached the 252 day dma support which might trigger some profit taking and might push prices higher so uh, shorting at this level um, seems risky although the prices are moving lower uh, if if uh, recovery happens it will be very sharp finally coming to base metals uh, most base metals ended uh, uh, extended gains after a spectacular rally last week and touched highest level since june 2022 on improved demand prospects from china the world's uh, biggest consumer chinese vice premier liu he expressed confidence at the world economic forum that china's growth will most likely return to its normal trend boosting hopes of a recovery in 2023 supply constraints uh, boosted copper to around 9550 dollar per ton on the lme as anti government protests in peru has triggered risk of output from major mines zinc was the second biggest gainer in the pack as lme stock slipped below 20000 tons uh, lowest since 1989 with 46% already earmarked for a delivery Overall for the week uh, metals might see a pullback amid a muted factory activity in China owing to lunar new year holidays on the technical front zinc and aluminum both are looking good in case of aluminum there is an inverse hns pattern breakout and uh, possibly the prices might move higher till 227 uh, 230 this purely on the technical front as well as in case of zinc prices have come out of a falling trend line resistance and uh, um, if 
uh, prices move above last week's high um, on a on a daily closing basis, then uh, zinc prices might move closer uh, towards 300 and above. Uh, so both the both the commodities are looking uh, pretty good on charts. Copper is uh, copper is uh, resisting uh, close to 774, 775. If if it sustains above that, even copper prices might move higher towards 790 to 810 levels on the higher side. To conclude, uh, in the week, investors may remain cautious ahead of several key data releases, especially from the US. Flash PMI figures may provide hints about economic activity in major global economies. US advanced GDP and core PC may be closely watched as these are the latest, uh, these are the last crucial indicators before FOMC statement on February 2nd. Easing of core PCE, uh, Fed's most preferred inflation gauge may add to recent data releases, uh, prompting Fed to slow to 25 basis point rate hike. Also, US advanced GDP for fourth quarter 2022 is expected to show a slower expansion. Well, with that, I'm signing off. Good luck and trade safe.